<laughs> Did you ever have those same doubts? I mean, is that normal for a writer when he or she gets to the end of, of, of a manuscript or a piece of work to say, yeah, I really want Every to. step of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Every step of the way. And I would also say to Alexandra, keep writing, because when you write with that kind of passion, that comes through on the page, whether yeah. it's fiction or nonfiction. Mm. Well, she's definitely going to get a copy of Healing Promises. And we've got Michael from Tennessee on the line. Hey, Michael. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. Good, so you got a question for Amy? I've got two simple questions. Okay. Uh, the first one is, how did she take that first step to try to get published? And how does she stay humble as a writer? <laughs> that is a great way of keeping you humble no matter what. But um, well, you've got kids. That's a humbling thing right humble. there. And a husband. very humble. And a husband. Um, actually, I got started, I took that first step because my husband and God kind of teamed up and said, this is what you need to do. And God gave me a dream, and my husband said, you need to write it. And then God put all kinds of amazing people in my life to help me along that path. I um, mean, as far as staying humble, that is just part of life. You know, I still have to clean the house. I still have to do laundry. I don't get a big head with any of that. It's just part of life. What's Dave do? <laughs> Dave does everything. <laughs> he does the website. He, he, got, he keeps the children on Saturday so you can write. And that's really how I get it done. Um, I spend about 15 hours a day writing on Saturday. And David takes the kids. David does clean the house. I still have to clean some things. Um, I still do laundry. <laughs> I knew he did from the last time you were here. Yeah. Just, Michael, those were great questions, and we're going to send you a copy of the book. All right. Okay. Let's go to Robert from Oregon. Hey, Robert, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Doesn't seem fair. Doesn't seem fair. I got through twice in one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're blessed. Well, what's your question for Amy? Well, Amy, um, the way the book is written, um, my, my dad is not saved, and uh, I keep trying to turn him on to uh, um, some Christian authors and that kind of stuff like that. But oftentimes the message is so blatant, he just gets turned off by it. How is your message of the cross uh, or, or the gospel uh, put into your book? I think the first book, Ransom Dreams, has a character who's really struggling with God, so he doesn't have a lot of God talk. And we really, I really try not to do a lot of big Christian words because my hope is that people that are not believers will read it and have an interesting story and find out that God is relevant. God is important to the lives of, of people that are reading as well as um, he's important to the characters' lives. I would say this book, Healing Promises, has a lot about God, but it's not overwhelming or overbearing. You talk about, uh, about prayer a lot in the book. Okay. And definitely. Yeah. Um, prayer is, is a big thing for the characters, but I hope it's written in such a way that it's not offensive to somebody who, who might not really be ready for that. What do you think, okay, Robert? Good. You think he'd like that? Uh, well, I'm hoping so, and I do have a question about publishing also. Okay, go ahead. Um, now, I've, I've had a lot of people tell me I should be a writer um, just by some stuff I've written before. In fact, my writing teacher in college took one of my essays and, and sent it into a uh, contest, which I didn't didn't. Uh, get anything back from. In fact, I read it the other day and thought, wow, that really wasn't very good, but <laughs> she thought it was. Um, anyhow, would you recommend starting out with uh, small articles or just like dive in or, or how would you do that? That's a great question. Um, I actually got started writing short stories, like for Chicken Soup or uh, Cup of Comfort or God Allows U-Turns. That's how I got started. Those are creative nonfiction, and it was a great opportunity to work with an editor. I've also done um, articles, and if that's something that you enjoy doing, I definitely say get started there. But if your passion is to write a novel, I would say jump in. Definitely be part of a writer's group, too, because they'll keep you going. But I'll bet your advice is, okay. no matter what, write. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Because it really is it's yeah. also a craft. I mean, you have to yes. get better at the process. So. And we will give yeah. anybody who wants an opportunity. You have to. It has to come through us first. But we'll publish you on our blog. So, you know, the whole familynet.com, familynetradio.com, and then you hit the button for our blog site. We'll put you up there. There you go. That's cool. a great way to get started. Yeah. <laughs> well, Robert, thanks for calling. We'll send you a copy right. of, that, of Healing Promises. Do you get Thank that? You very a, much. Do you get that a lot when people come to book signings or see you on the street and realize, oh, you're an author? How do definitely. I do that? How do I they be one? They definitely do. Yeah. And they, they, you know, a lot of times people are asking, what's the magic formula? And there is none. Hmm. Write and get involved in a writer's group are probably the two biggest things. And obviously, keep praying because if God has it, 
if, if that's part of God's plan for you, he'll make it happen. Yeah, because right. unfortunately, you know, like like restaurant ownership, you know, writing, I'm, I'm sure a lot more people fail at it than succeed at it, you know, but, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Right. And as you say, the more writing you do, the better you're going to get at it. And I, you know, my personal feeling is almost everybody has a story to tell and it's just your you know, ability to get it out. Hey, we got to take a break, but we're going to talk with Amy some more when we come back. You're still welcome to ask some questions. This is Mornings on FamilyNet Radio and FamilyNet Television. 